Hello everyone, welcome to Pediatrics by Dr. Anand. Today's topic of choice is Pediatric Dermatology. So what can you see in this, in this baby? A 8 month old child came with complaints of these lesions. These small lesions which are you know appearing as a arithmetic scaling plugs. So what do you think? What is this ring like? Can you say this ring like round or something? Uh, you know this lesion. What do you think? If I give you, uh, if you give you an uh, one hint, okay. This uh, lesions basically they have an elevated arithmetic scaling border with central clearing. Central clearing very important. They have elevated arithmetic scaling scale like border okay and central clearing so now today yes we are talking about tinea corporis so top 10 important points for tinea corporis for mbbs md as well as for exam going page uh, you know students so question number one what is the causative organism for tinea corporis Please remember number one it is a fungal infection tinea corporis is a fungal infection caused by very important trichophyton tonsurans trichophyton rubrum trichophyton mentagrophytes okay trichophyton okay t r i c h o p h y t o n trichophyton tonsurans trichophyton rubrum trichophyton mentagrophytes and microsporum canis okay so coming to the other important point which you know regarding tinea corporis very important you know these lesions they can be single also they can be multiple also that also you should know and also in differential diagnosis of uh, tinea uh, you know what you call the corporis you should also think of uh, pityriasis rosea psoriasis there are many differential diagnoses which looks like tinea corporis now how will you differentiate very important if you want to differentiate pityriasis rosea from tinea corporis remember uh, that uh, this elevated border which it is there in tinea corporis which is not there in pityriasis rosea that is a differentiating point if uh, another differential diagnosis of tinea corporis is psoriasis what happens in psoriasis like so how do you differentiate you know uh, uh, psoriasis uh, lesion from the tinea corporis remember that uh, psoriasis they lack central clearing i told you right tinea corporis has central clearing uh, clearing so psoriasis lacks central clearing okay how do you diagnose how do you diagnose a case of tinea corporis so clinical diagnosis clinical if you are a pediatric dermatologist clinical diagnosis plays a very important role you look at the patient and tell sir i think this i think this looks like a you know tinea corporis are you understanding so diagnosis is made clinically and if however you want to confirm it you confirm by potassium hydroxide preparation okay potassium hydroxide preparation which is performed on the scale obtained from the border of the lesion lesion is there border of the lesion is there you obtain you do the scaling you know you perform are you understanding so potassium hydroxide preparation it is performed on scale which is obtained from the border of the lesion you know and what it will demonstrate it will demonstrate the what you call, uh, called branching hyphae very important in a potassium hydroxide preparation in tinea corporis you will see branching hyphae are seen that is very important last but not the least coming to the treatment so treatment what do you think what is the treatment of uh, tinea corporis like how will you do so again i told you like uh, uh, fungal infection right so you'll give an anti-fungal agent right could be you know imido imidazole clotrimazole myconazole ketoconazole so many options you have you know and even some cases they give this allylamine also which is nothing but terbinafine or neftifane like that you know these are the things we can think about it and uh, these agents are applied until the lesions totally resolves around within two weeks you know uh, the uh, things will be resolved oral antifungal agents also we have like griseofulvin it is reserved but but griseofulvin you give to the patient who have multiple or large lesions okay so mm -hmm. like i sent you the picture some cases like uh, like antifungal right so uh, like myconazole ketoconazole in some hospital liloconazole luliconazole is available that we can try and yeah the prognosis is really good you know like it's excellent mm -hmm. that was all about pediatric dermatology by dr Nalan. i hope you like share and subscribe the channel and the video and if you want to learn any other topic you can you know put uh, the topic in the comment section uh, and join our free whatsapp group also statewise uh, the number is double nine double nine eight nine seven zero eight one